Hey guys, so behind me I have an old lectern. It was gifted to me by an old sorting office and it's from the 50s. So it's not exactly got antique status yet, but it's getting there. It's about 70 years old, um, estimated. It's very dirty, so first it needs a really good clean and there's a lot of scuffs. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing with it yet, to be honest. I'm going to give it a really good clean and then I'm going to sand it down and then I'm going to see what I decide because it might be that I actually just decide to keep this one wood but I might actually also paint it. I don't know yet. I know I say this a lot and then I end up painting it anyway. <laughs> it's probably going to end up painted. I found old chewing gum underneath here which is super nice. <laughs> you wonder if it's like antique chewing gum or something, I don't know. I wonder if it was chewing gum from the 50s that if people would come out and say don't you touch that, it's antique. <laughs> I apologise, I don't know what I'm saying, I don't know. That was an ordeal. <laughs> I have a new sander, I have a new Festool. Um, I really, I decided it was time to invest in one. So I'm still at that phase where I hate sanding. I still hate sanding. I'll always hate sanding, but it's fun because it's new. <laughs> Although this did really need a good sand. So this is where we're at right now. I, I think it needs painting. You knew I was gonna say that right. I don't know, I would really, I would really love to keep it not painted and just stain it, but I just think it's going to need some painting happening. I'm back after a few days off and I think I've changed my mind again and I'm going to do a tiny bit of painting, but overall I'm going to keep this wood sort of like a rustic farmhouse look. I do think it's some really good wood on this and I think it might be oak. So yeah, yeah. I'm going to get to the grueling job now of making sure it's all sanded in all of these, you know, awkward areas that my sander can't reach. <laughs> Such a grueling job. Question for you guys. Does anybody actually like sanding? Does anybody enjoy it? This is like one of those tasks you just gotta keep going at, otherwise if you stop you never wanna start it again. So um, I'm just trundling through right now. <laughs> All right, check-in time. Are you ready? <laughs> it's pretty sanded, look at that taken off all that old varnish. I had to be really careful not to get too sort of obsessed with every little detail on this because it's going to be rustic anyway and it would have been so easy to over sand but I've kind of just tried to stop myself. I want to show you some of the little quirks it's got though as well. So it does have some imperfections in it like these. Um, it's not perfect but I do like that. I know I've said that before. I like to leave stuff like this in, especially if I'm having a rustic finish because then it just helps with that rustic finish. It means that it keeps some of the history of the piece. I love wood and paint, you know, that when it naturally wears down, you know, so I think it just adds so much more character when you have those little quirks and it's a sign of its age and I just wouldn't want to get rid of it. I'm interested in what you guys think and what you do because I know there's a lot of people out there that love to you know smooth all of the imperfections out and make old furniture look new and I'm totally down for that as well everybody has different tastes and there's something for everybody out there so yeah just just curious let me know I sort of want a little bit of a lime to look on this so I'm going to use white magic in Dixie Belle's um, voodoo gel stain
All right, so I'm gonna show you what it's looking like in a mo, but I do have, I am gonna add some color after all, just a tiny teensy little bit. Um, also, I apologize because it's kind of noisy downstairs. There's a gym downstairs there, so I won't be able to give you the nice little crinkly noises that I know some of you like sometimes. Hopefully you can hear me okay though. Next up, I have a sponge, the Harlequin stencil by Dixie Bell and pistachio clay paint. Okay, so I'm just going in now with just a tiny little bit more of this, just the tiniest smidge and I'm going to really kind of just spread it out and rub it in there. I just want it to look like it's part of the piece and like I've not just added it afterwards, you know, like it's faded and become aged along with the rest. And then just again, I'm just going to get my rag and give it a good wipe. So you'll be able to see the difference, I've done a little bit around here compared to, you know, there. So that looks new and that looks a little bit older up there. try some easy peasy spray wax but you can see here it's actually taking off the um, the go on the video gel stain and um, so I'm gonna have to just fix this a little bit now just add a little bit more white back in there um, and then go back to the drawing board on that one okay let's see how big mama's butter holds up I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on just test it here in this corner sort of a little bit better a little I really don't want to use um, any kind of clear coat because I want to keep this as natural as possible. This is really bringing out the details and Big Mama's Butter will also nourish the wood because of the ingredients inside it. So because the wood is so dehydrated, it will also just make it nice and moisturized again. So again, just to give you some contrast, this, look at my nails, <laughs> uh, this bit's, all this part's waxed and this part in the middle isn't. So it may just take away some of that rusticness, but I don't mind um, because what I've done anyway is made the terra wax really faded, sorry, the terra clay paint really faded. And then I've got all this sporadic bit of um, whitewash happening as well. So even though it might sort of dial up the contrast a bit on the color, it should be okay. Look at the craziness. You know you've had a crazy day of work when your hair starts to look crazy too. <laughs> so I've added a little bit of black wax down here just as an experiment. I really don't think it needs it, if I'm being honest. I think it's kind of rustic enough as it is. And I sometimes go down the road of wanting to take things too far. So I'm gonna stop and I'm just gonna wax the whole thing now. 